We are lucky enough to be the GT Academy winners. We both started on the PlayStation, but now we are racing all over the world with some amazing Nismo cars. Being part of the GT Academy has given us some great skills and knowledge, which allows us to get the most out of our car and to really enjoy the thrill of driving it on and off the track. To help you get the most out of your driving, we want to share with you what we've learned. To do that, Nissan has given us the first Duke Nismo straight from the production line. Before you get in the car, you need to understand the physics of driving. All forces work through the car's center gravity. When you brake, all the weight goes on the front. That means that the rear of the car is much lighter with the risk of oversteering. When you accelerate, all the weight goes on the back of the car. That makes the front much lighter with the danger of understeer. It's all about weight transfer. When you turn left, all the weight puts the car right. Every input you make changes the balance of the car. So another really important thing is to set up the drive position. Lucas? Yes, of course. Your legs has to be slightly bent to make sure that you react quickly into the pedals. Second, the steering wheel. It's very important to have uh, the arms slightly bent uh, to have a good control of the car. If you are too far, for example, you can control the steering wheel because your arms are too far, too straight, and you have no speed to react. Okay, so you drive first? Yes, of course. Shut the door. Okay. So what I'm always doing driving is looking as far ahead as I can to have time to react. By looking ahead of your car, when you reach the corner, your brain has already told your foot to start braking. Once you get into the braking point, you are focused on the apex. Once you get into the apex, you are focused on the exit of the corner. You have to focus to brake before the corner in a straight line. So now we are approaching the corner. I brake in a straight line and I release the brake when I am at my turning point. If you turn while you are still braking too hard, oversteer. The goal is to have a balanced car through all the corner. So balance means that the car is not with the nose like this and not with the rear like this, it's neutral. So now I'm cornering, so I control the car with the throttle and only now I begin to accelerate. It has some great suspension, good grip on the corner, so the handling is amazing. You can really have some fun in this car, especially in cornering. <laughs>